Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today in another home gym video. In today's video, guys, I wanted to talk about why I have essentially stopped buying Rogue Fitness equipment altogether. So this is something that I wish I kind of uh, knew more or I guess had a more open mind to when I started my home gym because obviously when I started, as you can see, most of my stuff it, here is from Rogue. Now, it's not to say the Rogue is bad or anything. I'm going to expand on this, but um, <clears throat> obviously a great company, you know, probably the biggest one out there. And uh, yeah, so... The thing is, it's nice to have like the high end, you know, name brand stuff. And this goes for really everything in life, I guess. But there's a lot of different, like there's a lot of alternative companies that can either, you know, if you do the research, like sure, you can buy something from Rogue, you know, it's going to be good and it's probably going to be within your budget and, you know, it's going to look great and all that stuff. But um, if you do a little bit of research, you can typically find what you're looking for, um, for a better price. Or, you know, maybe it's something not as good as the, what Rogue offers, but <clears throat> you can find a cheaper alternative from another company that, um, you know, maybe like, uh, like if we're looking at like a lat pull down or something like that, for example, not many people are going to have, you know, four grand lying around to, uh, to purchase the, the, the Rogue one. So, you know, it, that, that's something that you can look at and you can really go, like if you go full budget end of the things <clears throat> you can find one for like 250 like a plate loaded one on amazon right now the answer is probably it's going to be somewhere in between what what makes the most sense for most people um but you know there's a lot of alternatives that you know sometimes end up being better so for example i've got this uh, bicep uh tricep uh preacher curl kind of machine thing here so i'll show you that now this is something if i was to get it from <clears throat> you know one of the name brand companies it would be stupid expensive, right? To the point where I would never actually purchase it. So, you know, having um, some of these alternative things just to actually get the stuff that you want to use, um, you know, sure, it's a, it's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a gamble because, you know, if you've never used it before, especially you don't know how good it is or if there's like, you know, major defects or flaws in it. This is where doing the research comes in and you can look up reviews and see what people actually think of it that, uh, that have it themselves. But yeah, so looking at something like this, like I would never be able to buy like, um, you know, a, a sitting uh, bicep or tricep machine from, you know, Rogue or one of the bigger guys. I think the ones that even do sell it as like a plate loaded option, I think they go for like $600, $700. This I got $300 taxes in shipped to my door. You can't beat it. And yeah, it's not, you know, the greatest machine, but uh, it, it works fine. And, you know, it is... Uh, it's a nice piece of equipment and I can move it around easy and it wasn't that bad to put together. So <clears throat> things like that, you know, they, they make a big difference. So um, I think the biggest thing that, that most people look to Rogue for is, is barbells, right? It's like, you know, if you're going to get a new bar, a specialty bar, you look at Rogue because they have, uh, you know, quality bars and probably at the best price as well. Um, but if you look around, there's, there's a lot more, um, there's a lot of different options there. So for specialty bars, like um, stuff that you're not going to use all the time, like a multi-grip or safety squat bar um, <clears throat> or uh, trap bars, open trap bars, things like that. I think stuff like that, that you're not going to use all the time. That's not a competition. You know, if you're training for competition, it's not in the competition uh, at all. Um, <clears throat> stuff like that, I find it's better to get, you know, the budget version of it, unless it's something that you absolutely either love to use or you do it all the time. So, uh, what can I use for an example here? So this one, <clears throat> so this is an easy curl bar from one of my favorite gym companies, Synergy Fitness. And it was now obviously easy curl bars don't, uh, you know, they don't get too expensive, but you know, you could get these for $50, right? Now, if you're to get like a stainless steel, you know, aggressive knurling one from Rogue, uh, I forget what it costs, but I'm sure you could spend two or 300 bucks in bar, but it's like, why would you do that when you could spend $40 on something that's essentially gonna accomplish the same thing if it's not something that you're going to use all the time and it's not something, you know, you're really excited about or you want for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so I kind of wish I had that mindset, I guess, when I started the, the gym. Um, not that I really have anything, any regrets that I have from Rogue, but it's like, man, you know, if I sourced this out a little bit and, uh, you know, did my homework, probably could have got a way better deal on it. So that's what I'm hoping to uh, help you guys out with. But, uh, but yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next one. Chicken out. Right, right.